everybody, welcome back to another episode of Zinway Chronicles. Last episode we finished up the side questing and from this point on we're gonna do a buttload of story before we do another side another freaking side quest, so I suggest you enjoy. This is also a new session, we're just awake, barely, so stay with us for a while. <laughs> we're gonna have to wake up. While exploring this pretty beautiful area. Yeah. Yep, it is, it's actually supposed to be like, all of these things are like reefs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like coral reefs, which is really good. It's another white tail, they both they both really fluffy. <laughs> Ricky wanna use them as pillows, we take them back and sleep. <laughs> They're used for something. Mm. Oh yeah, and now like violin. Mm. Do that. Oh yeah, sorry. Like I said before, I want you to reach a certain point and I want to make sure that we reach it. And don't know how long it's going to take before we reach it. Stand still in the middle of the portal and you get teleported. Now, if you turn around the camera for a sec. You see like that line? That shows you to which platform you're going to be teleported. Huh. So, uh, now, now we're on another. Uh, right now we're on one of the first floating uh, reefs. I think it has something to do with the ether that they can float. Hmm. Oh, um. I suggest just following the story. So we're gonna do a lot of exploration now in this area, a lot of stuff after we're done yeah, with the story. This, this, the... Yeah, 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 you just need to follow the arrow. Okay. Oh. We need to go to the capital soon. Nice. Hovering Reef 2. Yeah, it is. Wasn't that cool? Um, you have to take the one to the left. Thanks. Also, get the heart of heart it's somewhere right now. Oh, yeah. But it's it's forward. You're going the right way. You don't have to turn. Just one or two. Uh, pointed eyes. So we could do that when you run past it. Left over here somewhere. There it is. Oh. I think it's between Ricky and Shawna, yep. But we don't have the right amount of affinity, so that ain't gonna happen. Despair cover. <laughs> oh, the despair! There we go, the center gate. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Huh? Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> Melia, are you...? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Okay. Lady Melia, he says. Chilk, you thinking the same as me? Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. They don't look 
to the family. Do they? Hmm. They were running at you with shield and sword in hand, so. Hmm. I wouldn't count that as friendly. No? Mm. I must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Wait, does she have Chelk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, so now we get to play as Melea alone a bit. Continue going. There should be a shop on the way, and I want you to check out to, to check out to check out the shop. Well, I want to check out the oh shop myself. Oh my god! The stairs they move. So the escalators. You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. going on <laughs> see why i didn't want to start this stuff at the end of our session yeah welcome to the imperial capital alchema this place is kind of um, well it's not as confusing as frontier village but finding npcs is gonna be hell turn around there should be a shop have escalators. oh okay i guess we don't have a chance all right continue going I actually wanted to buy her some new gear so she doesn't look like she's just come out of crawling out of the freaking jungle, but I didn't. A great wall. You know the dumb stuff is? You get all of these locations and landmarks, but only Melia gets the SP and the XP and stuff, I think. Because she's alone. I'm not 100% sure if this is true, but I think it is. I got this thing. Tablet for uh, my colors and my own. Oh, why not? Go the stairs. Man, that's so much good stuff. Teleportator, more like, like a teleportation thing. I will use my power to protect my friends. The art and gone. <laughs> We should take a look at that one right. Well, just continue going. We'll take a look at it later on. Okay. Look at these stairs, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they remind me of the stairs on the Temple of Time. Mm -hmm. They remind me from something from Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Super Mario Galaxy, you don't know anything about it. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Sorry. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them, but it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. 
the Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. However, if the chosen one is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the chosen one. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know, but it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be Crown Princess. Yes, you are. The Ministries of Research and Records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. But there are cutscenes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you. Don't a lot of information thrown at your face. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk. Any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me.
And now I get one of the few moments where we can talk to the party. Which you are supposed to do. Hmm. You are supposed to talk to the party, which to see what they think. Shook, you don't have to worry. Bird people not bad. Once we came to uh, we came to meet Melia, we're also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? What is all this? How can I treat us like this? That Melia chick. You are sure you can real trust her, right? Don't get too close to the door, because I think then you activate the cutscene. No. So go and talk to Dunban, and then you can go to the door. We have never had any contact with the Hyentian before. Perhaps they are being cautious, just as we would. Yeah, that makes sense. I suppose. Hmm. You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Wait. Alvis! What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. Hmm. Man, that's a... That's a lot of shit. <laughs> no, we ain't done yet. Oh my god, he can fly. A little bit just. The life of the rich. So where are we going? <laughs> Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. <laughs> it is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Okay. And there you go. You have your little mission. Um, you can realign, like realign the party if you want to. But you're gonna have to go to the shop first. I need to fully re-equip everybody. Anyway, so let's go to the shop. Well, it depends if there are like actual upgrades in the shop. I don't know. Could be that there's nothing that's actually better, and then I'm just gonna roll with the jungle set. Maybe some books. 
Yeah, but I think it, I think I have I think I have books from Melee, but since Melee isn't in a party, I don't think I can use them. So I'd rather just wait. But it could be that I, if I buy them and when I play as Melia, I can use them then. I don't know. You can get the heart to heart somehow. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Not available! Hmm. There will never be a heart to heart that's available. And all because we're missing one more character. Ah, so there's one more character. There's one more character, and that's a full party. I didn't know the number in my head, otherwise I would have told you, but it's just one more character. Yeah. Um, don't accept any quests, so we can do the cleanup later. You could technically accept, like, the monster quest on the and do that on the way. There's a shop to your right. But, um, yeah, I just do, I just don't want to think about that for now. Alright, give me the controls, then I can see about getting some upgrades going, maybe. That totally depends on if they're actually going to be useful ones. Uh, this one does not have any slots. The Iron Cutlass is not going to be better. Uh, the Hunting Nibbler also is not going to be better. It's mainly the armor that's better, <laughs> as you can see. For Shulk, for Dumban, um, for Sharla, I guess. Yeah. And for Ricky, so that's four. There we go. It's also the ocean stuff, but no. Nah. I don't like those. I, I think is I don't really like the unique stuff that much, unless if it's like really good. Hmm. Um, this wouldn't really change that much for Shulk. The same is for Ryan. I think this this the sky top isn't that amazing. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that. Uh, it is good for him though. For our hit up on, hit up on Ricky, hit up on Ricky. Right, one sky glove, two sky gloves. Wait, I have four of them right now. Huh. Um, I think one more. Uh, <coughs> what's this gravity stone band? Swimming path three. Hmm. Swimming bottoms. Let's see. Uh, there's a strength of gem in this thing, probably. Yeah. Let's go and get the, the sky bottoms. These are not better. Oh no, wait. He has a muscle up on this thing, so I guess. One of these, um, I think one more of these. Ether up, physical defense goes down by a little bit. Not sure. Sky shoes then. No fucking respect. <laughs> Alright, so I can buy books for summon bolt, which I will buy right now. It would make sense summon if you could flare. get books for the Monado Summon already. copy. For the Monado art. Why would that make sense? Because the Monado has history with this place. Okay. Right. Yeah, it does have history with this place, but I don't really think that they like keep secret uh, secret uh, book arts for the Monado in this place. <laughs> well, I don't Why know, not? of course. Um, this seems to be just better, and it looks better. So I'm not gonna do the gems right now. I'll do that when I'm done with re-equipping everybody. Uh, sky, cut that. Press the A button. Sky gloves. Get rid of the twin tree trousers and give him the sky bottoms. Get rid of the panther fucking shoes. Finally equip some normal shoes. There we go, no more jungle mode. <laughs> uh, the defender is not that good. Sky cap. Uh, yeah, I still have to fight. Let's de equip all of the gems as we usually do. So the sky cap is already good. It's like the thing that they already have, so. Um, then we have the sky top, which is better. Sky gloves, which you already have, good. And some sky bottoms. And some sky shoes, fucking finally. Whole sky set. There we go, super sky set. Uh, super, super sky set, yeah, true. Uh, let's go and get uh, Dunban anti jungleized. Sky cap, which. Uh, and now he has an eye patch. Um, I should buy some more sky uh, armor. Why, he have that? why? Because reasons. <laughs> That's just one of his sets. It's like the Johnny Depp set. That's what I like to call it. Hmm. Um, I need another sky top for Dumban. Yeah, sure. There's also some heavy armor that I can buy once again. Heavy armor does not equip gems, and I find I can't. Mm -hmm. 
there are, if there were like more heavy armor pieces that would have gem slots in them, that would have made everything a lot better. Yeah. I'll just equip the sky, the sky stuff just to make it like make any fucking sense the stuff that the, the characters are wearing. So yeah, he's going back to his Johnny Depp outfit. I see. Which is a really freaking cool outfit. Yeah. So uh, yeah. It just works. It just fucking works. Let's see. The eye patch is a bit weird though. I don't find it that weird, personally. I actually find it kind of cool. Right, let's go and get rid of the jungle stuff on Shala. Give her a sky cap. She's, she's also going back to her normal stuff. Why did I not buy the Are freaking sky armor for everybody? I don't know. I will just buy only one more for um, Shala. Because I think that. Uh, whoopsie, Daisy. My Veerpon has a unique armor set. Hmm. Like the anti uh, spike stuff he's wearing right now. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna try to keep it that way. As long as the defense gap isn't ginormous. In any case. Alright then, back to the old ass uh, sky. Uh, back to the old ass armor. Everybody seems to be wearing like their OG stuff again. When I have all the sky times. stuff. Oh, most looks different. Yeah, he has, he has, <laughs> he has, yeah, he has a different color. Actually, it looks different altogether, maybe, no? No, it's just a different color, I think. Actually, no, no. Uh, let's see, so you are full sky set, which makes you wear those awesome freaking boots again. Uh, seems like the twin tree vest uh, can be replaced, so I'm gonna have to buy another fucking sky top. You That's the one thing that is not in the Kronos uh, set, or like that he doesn't have in the Kronos armor. I think if you get like the full chrono set, you can probably get 100% uh, spike damage looking. Hmm. Which is, would be really freaking good. But I think you can also make like spike defense gems, but they're difficult to make, I think. If you can even make them, I'm not sure. There are some gems that are just almost impossible to make, though. Wait, what am I doing? I need to equip the sky stuff. There we go, sky top. And he has already has a sky boots, so he should be pretty fine. Right, let's go and see. place defense. Not what he wants. Um, let's just go and give him another ether defense up. All right, shala, shala la la. Do, 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 do. <laughs> let's see, some ether gems maybe. Do I have more of them. I seriously am don't have a lot of freaking ether gems. Oh yeah, and of course Melly has run off with a lot of this, a lot of those. Oh yeah. Let's see, because these are yeah, these are ether uh, plus gems. Or yeah, no, I think like all of the ether gems that I used to have that Melia right now is equipped, they are just freaking gone right now, <laughs> which actually really sucks. No. Ah, not place defense. Um, let's just go and give her some more ether defense, I guess. She is still a healer, so I want her to be at least a little bit. Defensive. Or at yeah. least when it comes to ether in any case. Ah, itchy nose. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Um, I should first go over to Shulk before I equip Tamban, because Shulk needs maximum agility. I find Shulk to be a little bit more important to keep, like, really good. Because some battles just need Monado. And then you need Shulk to be good. And if he ain't good, well then we're gonna have to... I'm just gonna run into issues and I don't really want to run into that much issues. Which I think you can understand. Yeah. Agility up, agility up, agility There we go, up. we have reached max agility up with... Because it's green. Green means that you've reached the max. Huh. Um, let's see, what else can I give you? Recovery, chill defense, good footing. I guess your strength. More damage is, also, is always good on, sh on uh, Shulk. Yeah. Alright then. You can get all of your muscle up gems again, Ryan. You can muscle up again. <clears throat> Gotta flex them all. Gotta watch that bad shoulder. Uh, we also have a recovery up that I wanna give him. To him. Yep. There we go, now he gets 20% more healing from anything that he gets, that he gets shot with. Uh, let's go and give you another muscle up. There. There we go. 91. Muscle up stuff. Yes, I think it's I think it stops at 100 maybe. Hmm. I don't remember though, it's it's been too long. Alright, Dumban. More agility. More agility. 
And that's it for the Agility 2 gems, so I'm just gonna have to go to the ones. I can technically make like two gems from the one gems right now because we have like really good gem making. But I think I'm gonna do that after uh, this episode probably. Just off camera, okay. do some more gem crafting. Alright, uh, I will also rearrange the party for you. What do you wanna. You probably wanna use Charlotte or maybe Ricky, you can choose. Mm. Yeah. Almost. Shulk is almost at the max of his thing though, so keep Shulk in the party maybe. Yeah. And then, Charlotte or Ricky? Mm, Ricky. Okay. Because we need uh, more affinity between Ricky and the other. Yeah, Shala and, and, and the two boys have pretty good affinity already. Yeah. Alright, there you go. You are set to do more stuff. Alright, get out of the capital. Because we need to save some squadron. Some random squadron. Oh, wait, is it this way? Yes. Oh, we can use the stairs. Oh! Wait, you can use wait. the escalators. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. If you jump at the end, you can fly for a little bit. Just when you're at the end of the stairs. No, like you need to run forward and then jump at the end of the stairs. And you fly for a little bit. It needs to be playing perfect. Mm. But that's like one specific way that the physics work in this game, which is hilarious. And later on, they're gonna have ice physics at a certain moment. Okay. And the ice physics are ridiculous. You can do really fun stuff with that. You can launch yourself off in the moments. <laughs> I am going to show that off because it's fun. It's just fun. Alright. Um. Now we have to open up the map, maybe. We guess we have a marker on the map. Over there. That's one we have to reach, so we first have to go back to Hovering Reef 2, and then probably take another path. Yeah, I suppose. That one over there, to your right. Forward. I think that's the one we need to take. Plum, plum, plum. I gotta say, this is a pretty glorious team, though. Ricky, Ryan, and Shulk. Alright. So, to the left side of this island, there should be another teleporter somewhere. Or back there, you can see it probably. Yeah. A lot of new enemy types in this place. If you look on underneath, underneath that like big island over there, yeah, you can see like the ether going down, keeping keeping the thing afloat. And also a couple of islands that are in the water because they fell down, I think. Oh yeah, that's good. There's a lot of stuff to explore in this area. <laughs> Skill learned. Nice. There we go. Wait for who? Red shock, of course. Ah. So we're done with one of skill, one of shock's uh, skill trees. Okay, maybe. Okay. Um, go on, change that then. Uh, All right, see, we're gonna go with pessimism because it won't go down really fast. All right, now we can get Shulk out of the party for the time being. We need Ryan in the party because he's also almost done with his uh, skill group. If you can choose, you can now just run with this party, then it might much. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this for now. Well, for now. And from now on, from now on, I will never change this party. Doesn't matter how difficult the unique monster gets. <coughs> There's nine here, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't need no stinking healing. Yeah, we are so over leveled to the point that basically no enemy anytime soon will fight us. So, go back. That's where the teleporter is. See on the map, you can see like the white places, and those are the places where the teleporter is. Hey, I remember those things. Yep. So, the thing that was down there was actually high end, yeah. Huh. Which probably crashed down back in the day. Or we had a base down there, I don't know. Hmm. That could be a good idea. Can we get this one? Yes. I have to get to the light tower.
Yes. The worker, fi uh, the worker finally came to fix the transporter. But he went to get some ether crystals and never came back. You can get to the crystal deposit from behind the lighthouse. You think you could go and take a look for me? Sirith Lighthouse. Look at that. One location and Shulk's thing just jumped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have to go behind the lighthouse. I have a feeling that this is a trap. Why oh. would this be a trap? Uh, oh no, I thought like... Yeah, I didn't know that was a top was behind the lighthouse. Oh! Man, how bad do you think these high anti are? I don't know. It's a trap. They're gonna steal the Monado and kill us. Well, Right? Hmm. A lot of things could happen, thank you. Yes. Flying stingray. So if you look down over there, you cannot look down to it properly. But down there is an island. Which means that like the middle part of this island has just crumbled and fell down. Look on the map, you can see like two white dots. One of them you came from, and the other one you have to go to. Like the one right in front of your face, right? He went all the way around. Instead of going this way. But it doesn't matter. Oh well. It don't matter. Man, getting this map filled out is insane, by the way. In a couple of locations, I have, like, have to like, swim for it for half a freaking hour. <laughs> We have some chromars over here. So we used to have the normal lizard man, these are chromars. Yeah. These are uh, more advanced lizard man. I don't know. Oh, the limb are That's the same to use them pretty snazzy gear. Yeah. They're a more advanced species, I guess. Well, I suppose. Big boys, so. Um, wait. Take a look at Ricky's skill tree, maybe. You just learn your skill, I'm not sure if that's... Um, if he is done or not. Just take a look at the entire party, really. Okay, take a look at the entire party, I just want to see how far everybody is. So, Ryan's almost done. Um, Charlotte's also getting quite close, so we should keep that in mind. And then manage on this final thing. Alright, good. Continue. Alright, you have to fight these, uh, these chromos over here. Or you can first go and... maybe first go and mine the thing. <laughs> Well, they don't attack you, otherwise they would attack you and you wouldn't be able to do this, but... We really need these uh, electric eater ones. To be, able to be able to get ourselves some... Uh, ether gems and stuff. Yeah, since that seems to be an issue right now. There we go. And now we can fight the Gromars. With our magical ones. Defensive Gromars. Leave it to Hero Don't get careless, guys! This won't take long. Level 36, and we are level 40. Oh, no, the Buster, okay. Yeah, I'm just back. Come on! Hmm, so that's like the crazy dance or whatever, so just arch it. So the arch that we can normally inflict the patient to hit on us also. So yeah, you won't be able to use arch this to get closer than the other one. Auto attack for them should be able to do the job. Ricky shows secret nobody's business! I'm powering up! Ricky, find AP! There you go, just randomly find AP. The stronger the enemy, the more AP he gets. Now it's right! It's the beast tankers that they need to argue. These particular Chromars can do that. I'm powering up! Chain attack, sunstop! Ricky getting serious! Now it's right! Ricky's strong! I get the item. Nice job. Wow, Man, also what just... a bunch of jokers. Man, what a bunch of jokers. 
What kind of armor are we constantly getting? Oh, go ahead, man. Yeah, maybe I should pay attention. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it. Like, I think it could be either new armor or not, but doesn't matter. Are, are you there? Thanks, I thought it was a gun over there. Things could have turned out really nasty if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix the transporter now. See you around. Okay, so. Back no. Yeah, it's oh. my model just talking to my fucking cat because I probably didn't leave it inside. I let it go inside. Mm. But how can I know when the cat is out of the freaking door? You don't. There you go. And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to... Melia? And the young man, Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First Consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. No, no, no. The First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. Man, the mother is crazy. A little bit. More than crazy. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, your majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. I can read your mind, bitch. No. She's gonna be a problem. Probably. Most likely. Oh. Looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired! Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Right, you can just fast travel back to the capital. Yeah. <sighs> I'm happy for that. This one? Well, yeah, we could also just go to the map and then instantly teleport into the capital. Oh. Instantly teleport. Monado teleport. <laughs> the secret art. 
the second one under water, not up under water. Alright. Uh, okay, you could have also script traveled to the prison where we needed to be. No. What do you mean no? Because that wasn't a waypoint. There are three floors. And waypoints are divided up the floors. Oh. Like Imperial Palace and Ascension Hall. And then one more higher. And you find the White Wing Palace. Yeah, Talk to the guard. Yes? Please accept my humble gratitude for rescuing the repair worker. You must be tired. Feel free to uh, feel free, uh, feel welcome to uh, rest here. Your quest not now. Yes? Ooh. Yes, because that was green. See, like text green and not green. Hmm? Oh. Anyway, this has always worked through the entire this game. <laughs> we had a choice. Oops. Uh. Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess. The deafening fucking silence. <laughs> Alright then. Looks like things aren't going to end well in Doom. Nope. I bet she has something to do with it. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word, and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask...
the fuck is going on? Melia! I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Meli not like other bird people. Meli like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that! <laughs> We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. <laughs> I'm afraid oh, you've on. already eaten your last meal. Oh. Hmm. Let me give you a tip for this. Oh wait, you cannot change the party. Okay. Uh, oops, cannot damage him. Not, uh, not damage. Yeah. Oh, Including the high end, yeah. It does not matter if you topple them or daze them or whatever, it will not have a never work. Um, or hot. Because you are constantly being attacked. And you are Rick is constantly attacking. There you go. Like I saw him jumping right across the screen. You can use this hand. Okay. Thanks, that's Go, go, go! The red arts are very much a possibility right now. Because you have a party that can use a lot of red arts. Okay. He's watching. Oh no, oh no! What? I'm Leave it to me. Um, you cannot do much with Shulk, but just do a red arc. It doesn't matter, it's gonna do one damage. Yeah! How do you like that? Yes! Woo! Nicely done! So usually before you do this battle, you might want to... Yeah, that was close! Right. That was close! But it doesn't really matter too much. I think when you are at the level and you put fight in the battle, the battle is just... Turns into a little bit of a slog. If you have to. I don't think it's ever been easy. At least not if you are adequately level. Adequately level. Not over level. Like, mm -hmm. so you're not over level, but you're not like, so much under level that you can just kind of yellow anymore. Because then you're gonna have issues. Where's your camera? Okay. I haven't read it before. Magic mission! <laughs> Who are these guys? Shulk! These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait, this is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. <laughs> they do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. 
Callion. Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. I like it that the explaining animation continues when the voice acting stops. <laughs> hmm. Still a game from 2010 or 11, so... Yeah. But still for the game of that... Your I Highness. Pretty good. For a Wii game? As agreed, yeah. you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, your highness. Watch your back, your highness. She has something to do with this as well. It must be. I mean, she's such a bitchy character. <laughs> she is really, um, how do you say it? Not trustworthy, seems like it. No. The way she talks and acts. Yeah. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Rhine. But Dumban. This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? <laughs> no, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. <laughs> okay, uh, you need to end the episode, by the way. It's already 50 yeah. minutes, so... Uh... <laughs> 50 minutes. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like if you didn't hit the dislike button, and we'll see you guys in the next episode, a goodbye. Goodbye!